Surgeon Simulator, Amateur Surgeon, Plague Inc., Bio Inc. Now comes Operate Now Hospital Edition. You recommended it. I'm about to play it. Let's get it started. In a hospital, every day is a matter of life and death. Sounded super dramatic. Doctor, I know you're new here, but this is no time for nice ties. Niceties? What's your name, doctor? Ooh, this is easy. Dr. Mike. And I love that doctor spelled out. I don't know if you guys notice on all my stuff, I spell out, well, not on this one, but gaping wound. Very easy, two minutes. Okay, doctor, we need to make neat stitches across the wound. Bam, bam. God, I like using the pencil for this. 100%. Let's put the applicator tool. Mm. Good work, doctor. He's stabilizing. Perhaps now I can introduce myself properly. I'm Amy. Dr. Stone told me you were in charge until he returned. Amy, why did no one why did no one let me know about the newcomer being put in charge? Patients' lives hang on by a thread and I have to wait for an amateur to sign off on my operating room? God, it's like Grey's Anatomy episode. You don't have to talk to Dr. Mike as if they weren't here, Serona. What do you say about getting things running, doctor? All right, what should we name the hospital? What about like, Happy and Healthy Memorial? <laughs> That's corny. Dat Healthy Spot Yo. Here you'll find a list of available tasks such as surgeries, assignments, and more. Okay, I gotta build the operating room. Ooh. Building different departments will keep your hospital running and allow you to produce the resources you need. Okay, I like that, let's build it. We have a level one operating room installed. Well, that's a nice operating room. Dangerous polyp, difficulty very easy. Okay, doctor, now that we have good sanitary conditions to operate in, let's see how you perform a complex surgery. I don't know if a polyp is considered a complex surgery. Oh, but it's in the intestines. A polypectomy. Anytime you have a term in medicine, where you have ectomy, that means you're taking it out. Appendectomy, taking out the appendix. Polypectomy, taking out the polyp. You get what I'm saying? First, we need to apply the antiseptic tool, applicator, bah, 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 bah. which is really true. This is the first thing that we do. Then we get the scalpel. And then because I have my awesome pencil, I can just do a perfect incision right there. Look at that. It's like I've been doing this my whole life. Take too long or make mistakes and you lose the patient. Don't stop now. Scalpel. Let's go right into it. This is almost like an exploratory laparotomy, but it's a little bit deeper than this. Now we can see the polyp. Let's laser it. Ooh, this is good. Promote healing by applying gel over the cauterized area. Now, let's suture. Bam. Bam, bam, look at that. Good, now let's close her up while we still have time, select the needle tool. Bop, bop, bop. And we cleaned it up. She said my stitching needs work, but a competent job, I suppose. I think she's just hating. That operation was a success. I'm the man. By the way, this new game that I'm addicted to, I kind of gave up on Overwatch, is called Apex Legends. If you want me to play season two Apex Legends because I'm nasty, drop it down below in the comments. Hospital life. There are three department types for you to manage. A an admission department admits patients. These indicators tell you how much cash you have, how many beds are in use. Tap on medical departments to collect the cash that accumulates. Here you'll be able to manage your staff and assign them based on their specialty, thus allowing your departments to function. All right, let's see. I have one angry surgeon here. With Serona size of the operating room, we'll have steady cash flow. Let's claim it. Boom. What did I earn? <laughs> that was exciting. I got Dr. Ambrosia, and she gives me 1% extra money and 1% extra time. I don't know what that means. We'll need a place where patients can recover safety. Let's build a ward. Okay, ward, $10,000. I have 27,000. Let's build it right there. I have 23 beds. Oh, and I got another reward. Oh, I got John, the nurse. I'm gonna put my nurse in there in the recovery area. Build a break room. Let's do it. I still don't get the need for that. Resource spending should be solely for better patient care. Well, Serona, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but in order to be more productive, you need to be well rested. In order to be well rested, you need to have some quiet time. Silence is golden. We need a break room for nurses, for doctors, and residents. 
Well, the residents are probably not gonna get access until they start complaining and all that stuff, but you know. Doubt much resting will take place there. Those hooligans will turn it into a frat house. What hooligans? We have like three staff in, in my hospital that's called that spot where y'all get healthy, yo. If a signed staff member runs out of stamina, the department will stop working, refill their stamina, assign them to the break room or simply put another non-tired staff member to work there. Okay. Oh my God, I can give them plus 50 energy by giving them coffee. Here's some coffee, buddy. And look, my staff is already performing better. And we got another reward. This game has the most rewards I've ever seen. Energy drink recovers 100 stamina points instantly. There should be a little thing on the bottom, but shortens your life just a bit. Work is relentless. A patient has come in with a severe bone fracture. Care to take a look? I don't mind taking a look. Jake 21 went on a night out. He fell off his bike riding home and broke his right arm. Ouch. The scaphoid wrist bone is usually the most commonly broken bone when you're falling on an outstretched hand. That's the one that's more in your wrist. This, the area looks like we're going into, is either an ulnar fracture or a radial fracture. I'm gonna go ahead and guess ulna. I don't know why, I'm just, where it is, I don't know. Let's just clean it up. Let's go. Bop. Clean incision. Ooh, it's worse than we thought. Yeah. Yeah, let's get the bones out of here. Good work, I've cleaned the fragments. Now I need you to reassemble the bones. Look at that. Now let's place the metal support, pop. That's called an open reduction internal fixation procedure, ORIF. Basically open, meaning we had to cut open the person's body in order to make this happen. Uh, and internal fixation means that we had to put uh, uh, metal hardware in there in order to make the bone stay. Yay, operation successful. We could have done it a little faster if I wasn't narrating the procedure. I'm trying to teach you how to do a, a radial fracture or ulnar fracture. I didn't really pay attention. Not good to say as a doctor. Dr. Stone, judging by the hospital's reputation, the new doctor is certainly living up to my expectations. I guess he doesn't know what I named the hospital, thank God. Fracture left leg. Your patient has a comminuted break on the tibia. Ow, that's the lower part, the shin bone. All right. Let's do it. We're gonna start by cleaning. Yes, then by scalpeling. Bam. Okay, now that we're inside, oh, the tibia doesn't look so good. We gotta get these cleaned up. So let's put them up there. Thank you. Okay. 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 I feel like I'm like a real doctor or something. This is fun. Good job, Dr. Mike. I will say this game is extremely, extremely accurate because I'm legitimately stressed out. I feel like I have to deal with PR, bosses, patients, staff members, their needs, their training. I mean, I love playing Sims back in the day, but that was stressful. What I want you to learn from this is A, how complicated it is to run a hospital. You have all these things. You need to constantly upgrade equipment, make choices, difficult choices, not put a break room in, upgrade a break room, give a staff members free coffee, don't upgrade the cap. I mean, I prefer Bio Inc and Plague Inc to this one. I just feel like it's more mischievous and I can have more fun playing those games. This feels like work. If you wanna see some more of my game playing videos, click on this playlist right here. And as always, stay happy and healthy.